Hi everybody, this is Beach Cricket. How are ya? Today I am going to show you how to make an anklet. You know, spring is around the corner and um, you're going to be wearing nice lighter clothes, shorts, and so hey, show off them sexy legs and put a little anklet on there. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, it's easy, and um, it's just a fun little accent to your attire. <laughs> Just because you're a nomad out here doesn't mean you can't you can't be pretty and do little girly things. <laughs> I do. <laughs> anyway, I'm um, making some for some friends. I like sharing and and making little gifts for people. It's just what I do. It's just fun. I like doing it. I love making jewelry, so it's just a fun thing for me. Anyway, let's just roll with this, and you get to see how I can make an anklet. And so can you. All right, hold on. Hi, everybody. This is Beach Cricket. Woo! Okay, it's going to be summer soon. We're rolling into spring. And I thought I would do a little tutorial on making anklets. Now, these are all different, as you can tell. And I have uh, made... Uh, different combinations so that you can get an idea of all the different things that you can do. I made one for me and there's two for two different people that I'm going to surprise them today. But anyway, it's real easy and I'm going to show you how we are going to make an anklet. So you will be cute with a little anklet around your ankle for the summer. All right, stay tuned. Now you got to start off with some strong stretchy cord. So what you do is you get some of this stretchy cord and you measure, you just measure with this around your anklet. And you give yourself probably um, a half inch or an inch on either side just for the adjustment, okay? Okay, and what I do is I tape the stretchy cord onto a surface so that I won't lose all my beads. And um, that way, you just uh, start with your little end on the other end and start threading the beads how you want to design them. Now, with these two, I did different ones. I have um, little roses and little silver balls and little teal pieces in this one. And I just alternated how I wanted to on the pattern. This one I did a little bit differently. I um, made this for somebody that I made a bracelet for. And now she's going to have an anklet. And so I've alternated the beads. And then on the end, as an accent point, I put these cute little hearts and flowers there at the end. So that it'll be a nice focus point on the anklet. So you can just design any kind you want to as far as your pattern goes. But the first step is to do this and start your beading, okay? Now, I suggest that you, goodness gracious, I see dust in my dust in my tray. Um, I suggest that you get a beading tray. Mine's kind of beat up looking, look at it, because I I use it a lot. And um, it's just a cardboard uh, velvet line little tray that they, they make for beading. And, um, but anyway, the point is that you uh, get all your supplies and put them on there so it's easier access and they won't be rolling around everywhere. Okay? Also, while I'm at it, I explained this when I was making the bracelets um, in another tutorial. Have your supplies organized. Now, this right over here is mainly some of the projects I've already done and um, some of the beads uh, in here and also some buttons because I use those as catches from time to time. And um, you just try to keep all your supplies easy in containers so it's it's easier to find them and make all of your wonderful things that you like to do. So that's what I do. Here's this one over here. So, and I have my scotch tape in there and scissors. And you have your supplies, like I have other tools as well over here. So you have to be a little bit prepared here so that it makes it easier and a lot more fun, okay, to do your beading. Now, as you can see, it is, um, I started with a little rose bead that's a little bit bigger. Then I did an alternated from a small bead to, I'm going to do a red anklet. 
and um, to match a necklace and bracelet that I made. And I'm just going to alternate that all the way through till I get to the size that I want. And then from there, I will tie it and it will become an anklet like this. It's just that simple. But it's so much fun to um, surprise people with a gift. And, you know, with summer and spring and wonderful weather, get to show, they can show off their little anklets on their cute little <laughs> feet and um it'll be a nice gift for them so that's why i'm doing it i and plus i love doing it it's just a labor of love it's a fun hobby i have and i encourage y'all to do it it's just it's um it's relaxing and it's creative and it's loving so there you go so i hope that you enjoyed it it's very simple um a very easy process to do and then you can have a cute little anklet on your foot. And it'll be fun. I'm enjoying this. I like this one. This is mine. This is the one I made for me. <laughs> All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. It was fun for me. I love making jewelry, you guys. It's just a lot of fun um, making it, wearing it sharing it, giving it to people. <laughs> so it might be an idea that you might want to do to surprise your friends as well. All right, Beach Cricket out. Wake up and live. Live your life because it's yours and nomadic life rocks. See you guys in the next video. Bye!